insane, Sarah. That's crazy. 946 millibar hurricane. I mean, really? So the pressure on the Tahoe is 994.1. So somebody do the math for me real quick. What is 993 minus 946, please? 993 minus 946. Seven millibars, that's what I thought. The air pressure on the weather station on the Chevy Tahoe is 993 millibars. Sandy's air pressure is 946. Somebody's got a surfboard. That gas station back there, it's a Hess. You can't go fill it up yourself. Every gas station in New Jersey, you can't get gas yourself. You're not allowed to get gas in the state of New Jersey, is that right? Is that what you're telling me? sign there that says Route 36 closed in Seabright.
Gotcha. So I should be able to get to this um, seven presidents thing pretty easily, it looks like. Thank you. <laughs> or a, an actual lane. So people just stay home when there's a hurricane. Goodness. Well, I'm not too far now. Do a quick video blog as I drive down the road. Good morning, Mark Sutter. HurricaneTrack.com, 4 minutes to 8 Eastern Time. I'm on Route 36 heading east in Long Branch, New Jersey. And here's how things look. Not too bad out there. Uh, an increase in wind and rain, but really not too bad. A few gusts here and there. Look at the air pressure here on the Tahoe. You can see that right there, 995.7 been fluctuating as the wind passes over the truck. The air pressure in Sandy in the middle is 946, so a more than 40 millibar difference. And if you know weather and hurricanes, you know that means an incredible pressure gradient and a lot of wind is coming. I'll have some more video blogs for you once I get down to Long Branch to the beach and set up the weather station, and you can watch that data in the app. I'll talk about that more in the next video blog. Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com. Hurricane Sandy update from Long Branch, New Jersey. Hurricane Sandy. Hurricane Sandy. There we go. Nice road. Just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. Poor Tahoe. This will be good because I'm really, really tired, <laughs> and this will wake me up. So is this it? Am I at the ocean? <coughs> huh. Certainly looks like it. Almost. I got something fenced off over there. I 
might not be able to get near anything. Gotta find something that I can attach this pole to, and then I am good to go. Should be able to see the ocean. I don't see any big waves crashing up, so I guess that's good. Somebody walking up the road there. Hello. Ah, there's the gigantic ocean. Wow. Look at that. Good grief. All right, so I have to figure out how to do this. I think I'm going to just drive up on that thing and get this done shortly. rather unpleasant experience. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I'll drive up there. That's a heck of a curb. Oh, there we go. Here we can do it right here. Back up to the spot that I want to mount it. That'll make my job a lot easier. In the meantime, check out the ocean. Look at that. It's not good. All right, so I'm going to get out and see what I have to work with. It's going to be very unpleasant. Sorry about the uh, rain on the windshield, but I got to turn the car off. <laughs> and that is the ocean hitting the Tahoe. <laughs> 